everyone, my name is Chaos in the Sky, and welcome to the next Pokemon game that's going to be happening on the channel, Pokemon XG Next Gen. I'm sure a lot of you can recognize what this is from looking at it. This is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, but it's a little bit different. This is actually a hack that has been edited from the original Gale of Darkness, and from my understanding, it's still basically the same game in concept. You'll still be going up against the Cypher crew and all that. It's not like the other hacks I've played where they've, like, changed the entire landscape and the NPCs and stuff like that. It's still the same game, relatively, but the person who hacked this game has added in Gen 6 mechanics. I believe it's Gen 6, not Gen 7 mechanics. They might have some Gen 7 mechanics, I'm not sure. But they've added in Gen 6 at the latest, or at the, yeah, at the latest. Uh, or at the earliest, I don't know how to say that. Hello, cutscene. What are you doing? Oh, look, there's us. This can play as I talk. But they've added in at least Gen 6 mechanics, if not Gen 7. Uh, the fairy type has been added. I think they have added some Gen 7 stuff, because I'm pretty sure I heard that they added a Lola Pokemon in. It's still only first to third Gen Pokemon. They didn't add in, like, fourth or fifth Gen, even though I really wish that could have happened. But that was a pretty advanced thing to be able to add that in, so that hasn't happened. But it's still the basic core game of Gale of Darkness. But it's made more difficult, the AI is made better, uh, more shadow Pokemon, more wild Pokemon, etc, etc. It's basically just an even better version of Gale of Darkness. And so my friend Michael suggested it to me, because he had been playing it, he's like, Yo, dude, you should play this, I'd love to see you play it, and it's, you know, it's Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness only better. And that was all he had to say, really, to sell me on it, because I love Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. So, here we are. Pokemon XG Next Gen is what we're going to be playing next on the channel for Pokemon. I do want to really quickly, there was something else I wanted to say. Alright, uh, my Pokemon Coliseum playthrough, I've had some other people ask me about it semi-recently. But uh, I was doing a playthrough of Pokemon Coliseum and it kind of got paused or stopped for a while. And the reason for that is because I decided to leave that series until I could stream again because I was doing it as a stream. So, aw, oh, Mirror B. I can't wait to hear his music again. So yeah, Pokemon Coliseum is still on hold until I can stream again, but once I can stream again, I will bring that back. So for now, we're gonna play this instead, this Pokemon XD hack, which I believe is the only one of its kind. I don't think I've ever actually watched this cutscene through. I hope it ends relatively soon. Also, apparently a ton more Shadow moves have been added, as well as more Shadow Pokemon, like I mentioned before and wild Pokemon, so it's, it's gonna be great, man. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, Sita Dark Isle. I love Sita Dark Isle. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Pokemon XG Next Gen, let's do it. Uh, there is no save file because I kept refusing to make one earlier while I was testing out stuff to make sure everything was working. All right, well, do you wanna do versus mode? <laughs> no. Uh, new game, let's do it. Story mode, begin. I believe we're gonna have another cutscene for this. Michael right there, that's his name. It's the name of the protagonist, it's the name of my friend that suggested this. I say friend, it should be more like acquaintance. This guy I know. I'm just kidding, Michael, you're great. Let's go with... Normally in Pokemon, I'll just go with Chaos instead of Solo or Rogue. So let's just go with Chaos. Can you do lower... Yeah, X is lowercase. There you go. Where's the H? There it is. This is in alphabetical order, it's not in QWERTY, I was really confused. It's all- I'm pretty sure Pokemon always does it alphabetical instead of QWERTY, but every time I see a layout of letters like this, I immediately default to thinking it should be set up in QWERTY. Where is the H on QWERTY? Yeah, the H on QWERTY actually isn't even that far, I should have found it regardless. Anyways, I'm Chaos, let's go. Four minutes into this Pokemon playthrough, Chaos, we haven't had any Pokemon playing yet. I know. What's the deal? We'll get there soon, I promise. It's a bit of a slow start. Oh no! They're under attack by weird floating alien discs. Who designed those helicopters? Dude, I would be throwing Pokeballs like crazy at Shadow Lugia if I ever saw it, just for the hope that it would work. Is it ever confirmed what Shadow move he's using there? Is that Shadow Hold? A combination of Shadow Hold and Shadow Beam? I don't know. Alright, see you later, Lugia. You can steal giant 
cruise liners now, I guess. These guys are dead, by the way. There's no land for anywhere in miles. They're going to get eaten by a Sharpedo. There's, like, no other situation that can play out there other than them being consumed by a water Pokemon. Hey. Here's me in a Coliseum. All right, well, we have Metagross here. Look, it, immediately you get to see power-up punches in the game. That's the 6th gen move. Uh, Zen Headbutt and Bullet Punch, I believe, are both 4th gen moves. Substitute has been around since the original Pokemon, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, as you can tell, things are already set up for, uh, for higher gen Pokemon play than what this game was originally designed for. I'm going to power-up punch first. And Gardevoir here is using Moonblast, so it's a Fairy-type. So they've added the fairy type. Uh, I don't really know much. I know there's some other stuff they've added. I read a really quick log. They gave like a general understanding like, hey, here's all the stuff that was added. Tons of moves, tons of new Pokemon, tons of stuff like that. New types. I think Michael told me that, hey, there are Alolan Pokemon in it. Like Alolan Ninetales, the ones that already had models in this game. Like Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Marowak. I might be remembering wrong or something, but I'm pretty sure he told me that once. That Gardevoir lived! That was a plus one bullet punch from a Metagross. How did you live that? Whatever. Absolutely chewed it because I'm a Metagross. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and I'm really excited for it. This isn't quite as good as getting a brand new Coliseum slash XD kind of game, which is what I'm hoping the Switch is going to be similar to when the Pokemon Switch game comes out, whenever that happens. But this is a really nice second. It's better than nothing, definitely. I am much looking forward to it. Get wrecked, you nerd. Simulation over. Alright, Chaos, this will do for today. Man, I'm good at video games. Definitely was more optimal to just click Bullet Punch twice, but, you know, I wanted to use Power Up Punch. Yes, sir, that was a well-played battle. Chaos, your battle skills have improved by an amazing amount. Ah, well, you know, I'm pretty good. I mean, it was impressive the way you handled that Metagross with a a, a, a plum. A, I don't know this word. I, I'm pretty sure that's the word that they use in this game normally. I just never know what it means. You took a man of it as if it were the same as your Beldum. Uh, excuse me? The same as my Beldum? I have a Beldum? You couldn't, I'm pretty sure you can't get Beldum in this game, can you? Maybe you can catch it at a Poke Spot. I know you catch Shadow Metagross in Coliseum, but I'm pretty sure there is not a Shadow Metagross or Metangor Beldum in this game. Well, there might be in this one, actually, since they could have added it, because this is the hack. Don't you think it's time that you consider raising other Pokemon? Absolutely not. Not if I have a Beldum. Hold up. I've got Eevee and Beldum. Is this Beldum shiny? They gave me a shiny Beldum. Dude. It's also got, like, actual moves that aren't takedown. Oh, hey, is, th is this in the original XD Gale of Darkness? They show, like, what your super, what moves are super effective against immune to and whatnot? Oh, I bet it has to be, because it doesn't list fairy. If this was made by the hack designer, he would have put fairy in, I assume. Yeah, I don't see fairy on here. It's 17, not 18. That's really cool. I did not remember that from the previous game. Hold back. Oh, this is basically... This is basically a false swipe. I wonder when that was introduced. I don't remember that move. But that is so all the words. That is so awesome that they gave us a shiny Beldum in this game. That is wonderful. I love it. And then of course we have our trusty Eevee. Who I who has hyper voice. That's not normal. Because hyper voice didn't exist in Gen 3, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it was a Gen 4 move. Maybe. I can't remember. I think it was though. Alright, well this is awesome. Also protect, I'm pretty sure the original Eevee did not have. I don't know what type we're going to evolve this Eevee into. I don't know what Pokemon are going to be available to us with the, the setup here. I might have to adopt my Pokemon Insurgent strategy and use, like, a team of, like, 12 Pokemon and switch them in and out. Because already, like, I really want to use Shiny Beldum and whatever Eevee evolves into. Like, I don't want to take either of them out of the party, but there's no telling how many other awesome Pokemon we're going to get. Chaos, you have an incredible aptitude for battling. If you keep absorbing knowledge and experience, you'll become an outstanding trainer. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I'm already the best. Nothing can stop me. The operation of this battle sim system demands precision control. Of course, with my technique, there's utterly no problem. Rest assured you're in my expert hands while you're plugged in and battling. Hooray for virtual reality. Hello, Chaos. Are you done with training for now? You must be tired. But seeing you like this, my Chaos, you've grown up to be a fine young lad. 
Chaos, if only your father were here to see how much you've grown. Oh, I'm sorry, I promised that I wouldn't mention that. Please pay it no heed. Ah, you know. It is what it is. Oh, hello, Chaos. Welcome. I'm writing up a summary on the basics of Pokemon battles. Like I said, it's mostly basic information, but if you'd care to look, I've written my summary on the whiteboard. After all, the basics are important for a reason. Yeah, no thanks. I appreciate your effort, though. What's up? Hi, Chaos. Have you finished training? You're Professor Crane, I think? Chaos, this is the director's office. Did you want to pay a visit to Professor Crane? I was right. Ha ha ha. You don't need to be that stiffly official, Lily. But... Oh yes, I've heard the battle coach singing high praise about you, Chaos. I've heard that your battle skills have improved dramatically recently. That's outstanding, Chaos. I'm sure you... I'm... I can't read. I sure don't think I'd stand much of a chance against you. Ha ha ha. I wish everyone wouldn't drown them with such gushing praise all the time. My son and daughter will become spoiled rotten. There's nothing to worry about. Both Chaos and Jovi are wonderful kids. Yeah, great names. By the way, I don't think I've seen Jovi since lunchtime. By the way, like, the standard name for this character is Michael. Michael's, like, one of the most normal names of all time. Why is my sister named Jovi? That's, I've, like, never heard that name outside of this game. Chaos, I hate to bother you, but could you go find Jovi for me? Man, I've always got to do everything. Chaos, I think you already know, but several research projects are in their critical phases in this lab. That's why your mother can't afford to take any time off right this instant. So please, honey, will you go find Jovi for me? Absolutely not. Oh, don't be so rebellious. Please, will you go find Jovi? Absolutely not. All right, well, I see well, this is, where this is going. I can't talk. I've, I just got done recording two hours of Far Cry 5, so that's my excuse. Thank you, I'm counting on you. I don't think she could have wandered off too far, but just in case, check outside too. I'm sorry, Chaos. After five long years, this project is finally on the verge of coming together. But for that to happen, we can't do without your mother's expertise. Oh yes, I left a P star DA because that's the greatest naming convention of all time. In your room, Chaos. Go check it out. P star DA stands for Pokemon Digital Assistant. We don't know why the star is there, we just didn't want it to be the same as PDA. It's a very useful electronic tool. A P star DA can be used for email, among other things. I'm sure that you'll find its many features useful. It's quite easy to use, Chaos. I'm sure you'll have no trouble figuring it out. You got it. Sure thing, boss man, professor man, whatever. Hello. Huh, this combination works, but this doesn't quite fit. Yo, what's up? Hi, Chaos. I'm compiling the basic data for that big project of ours. Huh? What big project? Why, it's the Purify Chamber, of course. Don't you know? Or didn't you know, even? I like how all these guys are putting five years of work into this when all of the Shadow Pokemon have already been taken and saved. As of now. I mean, obviously it works out because more are being created, but how would they know? Chaos, have you seen Jovi? We were playing hide-and-seek. But Jovi's been gone for a while now. Maybe she's playing in her room, Chaos. Always gotta be in my room. How dare she? That room belongs to me. We bring you ONBS news. Authorities still have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship SS Libra since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gatonport. Or Gatian, I don't know. There have been no reports of Floatsum... Floatsum? That may indicate the ship's sinking. Oh, Floatsum is like bubbles in the ocean, like when bubbles come up in the ocean or something, when something sinks? I don't remember. I know what that word... I know the word, but I can't remember exactly what it means. The authorities appeared mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There were reports that numerous Pokemon were on board. Concern is rising over their welfare. All those poor Pokemans. Stupid Quagsire. Stupid Psyduck. A huge cargo ship just doesn't vanish into thin air. They just have to be more careful searching. The ship probably had engine trouble. It must be adrift in the sea somewhere. Or, you know, a giant Shadow Lugia took it away. Rumor has it that there was a new Pokemon that even Professor Crane has never seen on that missing, missing ship. Why can I not speak today? It's very worrying. I hope the Pokemon on board are safe from harm. Oh, that's right. Bonsley was introduced in this game, wasn't it? I haven't been to the Krabby Club for a while. It'd be nice to catch Razzle and Dazzle's show again. Because this game came out very shortly before Gen 4, if I recall. Gen 4 came out in 2006? I think, and this game came out in 2005? Something like that? Have I seen Jovi anywhere? Come to think, I haven't seen her since lunch. Alright. This is Jovi's room, I believe, this one. And my room is next door. It's Chaos's room, but lately his kid sister appears to have the run of the place. How dare she? Hey, there's something on the desk. Really? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I have mail. Man, I'm popular. If you're reading this email, then you must have obtained the P-Star DA, or I, like, logged on to a computer. 
Try out its many features. By the way, Bill was playing hide and seek with Jovi. Why not have a chat with him? I already have. He was not very helpful. Three potions are nice, though. I wonder if the first Shadow Pokemon in the game is still Shadow Teddy Ursa, like it was originally, or if they've changed that. I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm excited. My Pokemon and I were always together, even when we're sleeping. That's a little creepy. If you want to become friends with Pokemon, companionship is very important. You don't have to, like, sleep together to be companions, though. I think that might be taking it just a little too far. All right, talk to this nerd again. I think we have to go to that guy's manor, right? Ah, you startled me. Oh, hi, it's you, Chaos. It's me, Bill. Yeah, we already talked, though. You're looking for Jovi. We're supposed to be playing hide-and-seek right now, but she isn't around anywhere. Well, maybe she's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's manor. That's his name. It's a big, weird house southeast of here. How did she get over there if she doesn't have a vehicle? Jovi's it in our game of hide-and-seek. I wish she'd find me soon. My back is starting to hurt. Dude, just give up. How old is this Bill guy? He looks to be taller than me, which I assume means he's at least fairly older than me, other, unless he's just, like, got really tall genetics, I guess. I have a cousin that's, like, 12, and he's taller than me. No, my cousin is 13 now? I can't remember how old my cousin is, but I know he's not, like, he's not, like, 16 or anything, and he's already taller than me. Who boy, the world of Pokemon is so deep, the more I study them, the more I am inspired by the very fascin fa fantasticalness of it all. I wanted to say fascination. For example, you know all Pokemon have types and abilities, right? If you keep those facts in mind and apply them to battling, you can always get an advantage over your opponents. By the way, physical special split exists in this game. It matters. That's part of the Gen 6, 7 mechanics, whatever it is that they've added. Hi, Chaos. I heard about you. Sounds like you've been racking, you've been racking up outstanding scores on the battle sim system. I just cannot understand text today. But instead of that virtual reality stuff, how about a real battle for a change? I'll be happy to battle with you in time. Let's do it, dude. Okay, that's the spirit. Let's get it all. Let's go, man. Super Trainer Dave. Let's do it, Dave. What the heck? The game lagged slightly there. That was weird. Are we not in a double battle? Oh, this sucks. I wanted to be in a double battle. I'm gonna... My physical attack stat should be higher than my special attack stat, right? I would assume. Oh, yeah, by a fair margin. We're gonna headbutt this fool, then. No, I have Bite. What am I doing? <laughs> I was just looking at my two stab options, then I realized, like, oh, hey, I have a super effective mood. Easy knockout. Well done, Eevee. Well done. Whoa, he really is tough. Well, I mean, like, you were a bit of a pushover. Just throwing that possibility out there. Well, that was an eye-opener. Chaos, you become a lot tougher without me noticing. Okay, I'll train using the battle sim system, too. That's what I'll do. Good idea, you nerd. Isn't there an item box, like, along the edge of the spot out here, I thought? Or am I remembering wrong? Yeah, over here. I knew there was one around here somewhere. I don't remember what's in it. A revive. That's insanely useful. Did they give you a revive this early in the original game? This is just going to be a lot of me being like, is this how it was in the original game, or did he add this in the hack? There's going to be a lot of that in this playthrough, I can already tell. Kaminko's house, let's go. The game lags slightly from time to time. Right there, it did. I think whenever it just has to do a big animation, it does that. And I think that might be more because of the hack than anything else. Because normally I don't have trouble using the dolphin with no lag of any kind happening. I have a pretty good computer for stuff like that. But I mean, it's pretty minor so far. It's just an occasional stutter here and there when big things happen. It's not a big deal. Wait, who goes there? Ah, oh, it's- what's his name? Ah, oh, what is your name, you little nerd? I can't remember. It's Chobin, isn't it? Something like that? You must be a burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. It is Chobin. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminko. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. That also means you're the worst assistant. By that same logic. I think it's just whenever a battle starts, the emulator has a little bit of trouble running through it. When the enemy sends out a Pokemon is when it really happens. I'll talk with Michael and see if that's a problem that he also had, or if that's just a me thing. The game is still only doing, uh... Two Pokemon, or one Pokemon instead of two. Even though Coliseum and XD are supposed to be double battles. I think that it's because the game was designed for me to not have a second Pokemon until I catch the Shadow Teddy Ursa. 
And so it thinks that I only have one Pokemon right now, even though the hat creator put another one in. Bow, bow, bow. Not Thundershock. Oh, no. Oh, the humanity. How? How dare you? This stupid game and attacks. All right. All I have to do is not get paralyzed here and I win. Okay, good. I was really expecting the game to screw me over at the very start. Now I get a crit. I love Magnemite's death, uh, death, death animation. I can't... Dude, I actually cannot use the English language today. I've recorded too much. I was thinking of recording more Far Cry later tonight. I better shelf that idea. Chobin lost. Yes, he did. What a nerd. You've made Chobin angry now. Even though Chobin lost, you're still not going past Chobin. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. D what, you think a child can't steal from you? Ah ha ha, Chobin wishes you spoke up right away. Your chaos, Chobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Hey, Jovi. You're just as annoying as I remember. Oh, big brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it, big brother, you got lost, didn't you? Nope. Uh, 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 there's no hiding stuff from Jovi, because Jovi knows. Why do so many people in this game talk in the third person? This big house is Dr. Kaminko's. Dr. Kaminko's job is to make incredible inventions. There's a whole bunch of neat machines like they have at the Pokemon HQ lab. You should come in too, big brother. How does our mother have, like, normal blonde hair, but I have red hair and Joby has blue hair? Chaos, you're that girl's older brother. Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Chobin finds it hard keeping an eye on her so that she does not bother the doctor. Oh, yes, Chaos, you will have a look at Dr. Kaminko's inventions. You will, yes. Okay, this way, please follow Chobin. Do I have to? Can I, like, t <laughs> I can't talk. Can I, like, opt out? Hey, what's up? Okay, Chobin will now show you the inventions of the in inestimable? Dr. Kaminko, yeah, sure. Dr. Kaminko's inventions, it needs to be said, are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. Oh, why does Chobin know that they are number one worldwide? That needs explaining. In the whole wide world, no one but Dr. Kaminko would invest in such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world without question. Obviously. Our Dr. Kaminko, who is verily great, is inventing in that room there. Hi, Doctor. What kind of funny machine are you making this time? Jovi wants to know. Uh oh that girl is at Dr. Kaminko's side again. Chobin hopes she is causing no disturbance. I wish his name was Dr. Kamino, because that's so much easier to say than Kaminko. Anyway, let Chobin acquaint you with just some of Dr. Kaminko's greatest inventions. Let the VCR roll. VCR! This game is so old. Dr. Kaminko's inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is this, ta-da, the unhealthy sandals. Oh, I remember this. I remember, like, you can watch this a bunch of times, and there are, like, eight or so inventions that are just absolute, complete trash. Sorry, I had to look at my phone really quick. I got a DM on Twitter that might have been important. The insole is studded with lumpy nubs that fail to stimulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these, and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. Chobin, thank you, it is su superlative. Ahaha, ah, incredible, is it not? There is much more than that, too. The Doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Chobin gives you permission to use this anytime you like. Of course you do. Is there an item over here or something? Oh, I can't. It's locked. Never mind. Let's look at one or two more, just because they're funny. Dr. Kamiko's a minute. I'm not going to read that again. The power draining light bulb. At first glance, it's an ordinary sort of, ordinary sort of plain light bulb, but it's it positively gulps electricity at 10 times the usual rate. Keep using this and the electricity bills will grow shockingly, and it won't be easy to find out why. Chobin think it is dazzling. One more. What is this one? The super power jet vacuum cleaner. Oh no. Whatever it sucks up, it blows out the rear using powerful jet propulsion that shreds dust into fine particles. The more you vacuum, the more your room gets covered in an invisible coat of dust from corner to corner. Splendorous. Yeah, that's great. Hey. Did you come from the Pokemon HQ lab? My name is Mitch. I run the parts shop in Gadian Port. How is the lab's director? Professor Crane, yes? Ah, yes. If you'd be so kind, please tell the professor that the machine part he needed is ready and that he should come get it at any time. I gotcha. There's a mine in back here. Hi, big brother. This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got here. Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi has to show you how to get home, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home. Mimi, let's go home with big brother. 
You keep that thing away from me. I do not like Puzzle and Minin. Okay, let's move out. Autobots. Roll out. Jovi, we'll visit again, Doctor. Bye-bye. Yeah, sorry I had to put up with her, Kaminko. Huh? Incidentally, child, how long have you been here? Hmm? That's how Dr. Kaminko is all the time. Chobin said that a genius has different sensibilities from ordinary people. That's a good way of putting it. Does sensibilities mean you're kind of absent-minded and in a fog? Don't people say Professor Crane is a genius? Alright. Let's get out of here. Huh? What is this about? Dear Chaos, you appear to have traveled far in your search for Jovi. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find her. I need your help with something. Let's do it. How much time have I got? I still got a bit of time. What is it? What is it? Email from the professor? He wants you to come home quickly? Jovi is worried about letting you go by yourself, big brother, so Jovi will go home too. Let's go right now. I don't remember when Cypher shows up to try... I mean, I guess that's spoilers, so I shouldn't say it in case someone actually hasn't played Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. But I'd be pretty surprised if someone hasn't played it or at least watched it once in their lives if they care at all to watch Pokemon. Because XD is one of the greatest games ever. Oh, hi, Mommy. We're back. Oh, Jovi. Haven't I told you not to wander away by yourself? No, Mommy. You don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. Oh, whatever. If Jovi weren't there, Jovi bets he'd be crying by now saying he can't go home. I hate this little kid. Much like all other little kids in my life. Right, Big Brother? Oh, my, my. Jovi, you're such a brave and resourceful girl. Hey, don't praise her too much, Mom. You might make her spoiled rotten. But that's quite enough for today. Besides, Bill must be tired of waiting for you. Oh, my gosh. I was in the middle of hide-and-seek. Okay, big brother, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. What a dumb kid. Chaos, thanks for finding Jovi for me. Oh, yes, Professor Crane wanted to see you, Chaos. Go see him right away, please. Hopefully we can see Professor Crane and then save and wrap up for today, ideally. Where is Professor Crane, actually? He's in the other area, isn't he? The other side of the building? Right over here, I think. Hello. Huh? Here, here at the Pokemon H... Oh my goodness. Here at the Pokemon HQ Lab, we undertake a great variety of research on Pokemon from their ecosystems of battling. Yeah, it's just me. Uh, oh, it's you, Chaos. You scared me out of my wits. Yeah, do your job. Alright. No, wait, this is the purification chamber. I thought this was the battle sim room for a second. We're in the midst of developing a system to purify shadow Pokemon. Purify is the term we use to describe the process in which a shadow Pokemon's closed heart is made to open back again to its natural state. You see, five years ago, criminals used artificial means to close the hearts of Pokemon, turning them into fighting machines. We're developing the system that can system to save such afflicted Pokemon. We call the system the Purify Chamber. It's not necessary in today's peaceful times, but one never knows what may happen. So we dumped a ton of taxpayer money into it. Hi, Chaos. The Purify Chamber is almost ready. But I don't get it. There's no need to purify Pokemon now. I wonder why Professor Crane and Lily are in such a hurry to get the Purify Chamber finished. Oh yes, feel free to use the PC and healing machine. Woo, this switch is okay, next to just this here. Man, there's so much to do, I'm not far from a panic attack. I might have to take a break. Oh, that's right, Chaos, if you're going to take a break, don't forget to save. So now that we've talked to everyone in the lab and we went ahead and got Jovi back and all, I think we might wrap up here, because we're, yeah, we're a little over 28 minutes, we're almost at half an hour. So I think now's good. When we come back next time, we can talk to Professor Crane and his buddy there, and I'm pretty sure they give us the snag machine if I am not mistaken. So I'm going to go ahead and save up the game. Rope memory card. Nice. Thank you, Dolphin. Alright. I think that'll do it for today. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're excited for more Pokemon XG Next Gen. AKA Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, only better. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. I love Pokemon XD. It had to write the memory again, I guess. That's weird. I love Pokemon XD. It's one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. Pokemon Coliseum is also pretty up there. But uh, yeah. I will see you all next time, and until then, farewell.